Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Cerebral Palsy Gamer 98, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I would like to welcome you to episode 3 of the Red Dead Redemption Let's Play series. Now, this video is going to be a lot shorter than usual. I'm going to try making shorter videos and keep you guys from watching an hour and like 30 minute videos because I know that's something you guys do not want to do and um, I'm just going to make it easier on you guys. But before we get started with this video, I would just like to remind you that if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button and if you want to get notified every time I upload a brand new video please smack that notification bell for me as it would be greatly appreciated but without further ado let's get started Whew. that intro kills me every time but I love it Whew. Okay, so hopefully this does not do what it did last time and start me over from where we were because that was a lot to do. But if it does, let's see. Okay, so no, it didn't. Yay! Let's go. So let's ride out to this, and I'm probably gonna cut it. I might ride there. I don't know. how far we have and I might cut it. Yep, I'm gonna see you guys when I get there. Alright guys, so we are approaching the destination, so let's continue. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. God, Red Dead Redemption Time to get you to a so doctor epic. or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. 
You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Oh, boy, I love John Marston. His character is Head so... Head for armadillo, friend! So amazing. What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Pollard Twins, Walton's gang. I know who you are. Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you. Sometimes. Still, at least I met you. Good God, more of them! I'm so weak. It looks like you're shooting at nothing. I knew you'd come. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. There's Amadou! Faster, John! Faster! Come on. Hey. Go. Yeah. I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. We're it's nearly there. Me in your arms. This is it. You're gonna make it. We made it. Oh. <sighs> that was a rough early. ride. Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Ooh. What the? Mission, I suppose. <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. 
I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Let's get him! Of course. Really? Of hey, course. wait up! Why did you have to do it? Yeah. Larson, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look wow. too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Yeah. We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain meat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Hunt Marshall! More vultures! We best take a look, boys. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come on! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Blow it up now. Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? All right, boys. Let's have a look around. Nobody's in the shed! <sighs> no one here! Where are they? Run! There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. There we go. Sorry that took so long. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. So 
Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holding us God do well, pistol. My being kept what the? <laughs> All right, boys. We need to get into that house right now. This is the goddamn law. Ow. Because I came to the rescue. Jesus, well. For you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Almost Looks didn't get out of that fellas. one. Let's check up on the farmers. <laughs> some folk tried to escape him to the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing! You're just some man on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives! Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal! These are people's lives! People's homes! I do agree we gotta get indeed. Follow me! We can still catch him! Let's go! Whoa there! Let's get him! Whoa. Hey! What's your fate with waves in any way, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead. Wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Who I can't wait down to here, get Bill? him. You no, know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Let's get him. Stay 
with me. I Get will ready, show no mercy. It's always going to end this way. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. All right. See what you got. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed part three of the Red Dead Redemption Let's Play series. Now, please remember that if you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button. And afterwards, if you want to get notified every time I upload a brand new video like this one, Please smack that notification bell for me, as it would be greatly appreciated. But until then, I'm Cerebral Palsy Gamer 98, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.